Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon. Uh, I have the 4 o'clock update and I have some a couple new tracks I want to show you what might be some possibilities that we might need to watch for. And watch for kind of soon after this hurricane. Uh, now some people wanted to know about Oreo, so here's, here's my kitty cat Oreo. Little buddy boy. He likes to play, he likes to do some fun things. But there he is. <laughs> all this but anyway here's your update guys at four as a 4 p.m it is 40 miles per hour it's about to be a tropical depression it's 999 millibars it's moving west at seven miles per hour now as far as the projected path it's still showing that it's expected to be a tropical storm all the way t past cuba towards florida and as it turns as well but i show that we, we have some issues that might arise now, if you notice, this is our anomaly right here of potential velocity, and here's our area to watch. Now, here we are from November 6th all the way to November 10th. We have an issue, okay? But if you also see something else rose up from November 15th on through towards the end of the month, we have another potential uh, velocity problem. Now here's your spaghetti models uh, according to the EPA EPS cyclones, and they're still all projected to go more more convincingly towards the Gulf, and we even have a couple that's going to go west uh, eastward way wide on Florida that could go towards the East Coast. I do show one model that does show that, but if you notice uh, the ones that go towards the Gulf do intensify. They get down to 960 uh, millibars. We even get a 950 over here towards the end on this one. Now here's your your, uh, your your low pressure system for the GFS. This is what GFS has for you to experience. It shows does show a tropical storm going towards Cuba and this is all the way on the 7th. It'd be a Saturday and then as it goes towards the Bahamas it shows that it actually goes wide now, way wide. Then it comes back and it hits right around Miami uh, as a strong tropical storm, maybe a low-end hurricane. And then also it goes across Florida and goes into the Gulf, and it does a sharp turn and just dies off. Now, I like the die off part. I don't like the other part. Now, the Euro, what the Euro shows you so far is that when it comes back from Central America, it's going to be a tropical storm to a strong tropical storm for Cuba. And as it goes across Cuba, it's going to go down towards the hurricane status when it goes by Florida. And it also shows it gets even closer to Louisiana now. It goes even more west in the Gulf, and it gets to 970. It was 967 millibars this morning. It's showing a little bit weaker, but it is showing that it is going further into the Gulf, and it wasn't that far before. And then it weakens down and goes towards the Florida Panhandle. Now this right here, this is your Korean KMA. This one's, this one's pretty accurate about two-thirds of the time. I'll be honest, it's not 100% accurate. But this is what it shows. It shows that we do have the low pressure problem. It also shows that we have another low pressure center that did pop up yesterday, if you remember the videos. And it will do a Fujiwara effect as it hits over by Florida and then just swings around and goes towards Mississippi, Alabama. And this is as a tropical storm. That's what that one shows. Uh, also, let me bring that up real quick. I want to show you something else that is also in that one that you need to see. And it's, it's pretty important, guys. I, I wouldn't be bringing it up if it wasn't, trust me. Now, as you go through and you see the Fujiwara effect and you keep going on with your days, and if you remember, right around the 15th, they had an anomaly of potential velocity. And if you see right there, right there on the 13th, we pop up a little potential velocity and it does strengthen. And not only does it strengthen, it strengthens with a lot of power and it gets all the way down to a 954. So if that's possible and it looks like it could do some more strengthening, we need to watch this anomaly because it did say on the 15th that there was going to be something. Now as the nav gem goes on, and I'll show you the difference between that all the other models and the nav gem. You see it will, it shows, just like the others, it does show it be a tropical storm, but then you see that the millibars gets down to 979 by the Bahamas. Matter of fact, before the Bahamas, it is at a 983 
before it goes over Cuba, and that is definitely a hurricane. Then it strengthens and goes to the east side of Florida. That is according to the nav, Jim. And then it strengthens down to a 967 hurricane. And then it keeps on going up the east coast. So that could be an issue. And if you look right here on the east coast, 72 hours away from now, this pops up as a potential problem. Goes over the, the Bahamas and is going over the Bahamas as a hurricane. Then it goes over eastern Florida, and as it goes up the east coast, it is still a powerful hurricane. So that could be a problem for a lot of people if the nav gym is correct. And a lot of people do uh, trust a nav gym compared to others. Now to see if this anomaly for the 15th is trending as, a, as in showing up in multiple models, well, I check the Access G. Now the Access is the one that shows you your uh, all your orbital features. It, it shows that it's going to be a, a weak system, a tropical storm 996, as it goes in past Florida, goes in the Gulf, and becomes a, a strong tropical storm for a, a Florida panhandle. But if you look past that, right after that one, it is showing that it pops up immediately, way down here by Nicaragua. There's going to be a low pressure that pops up within uh, 18 hours and be close to their, their land as a tropical storm. So that is a potential as, as well. And if you notice, that's on the 14th. So we have some things going across that could be either the 14th or 15th after this one. But we we got to get past this one first, right? I'll figure I'll show you what could be for the future. That way there won't be no surprises for us. Now I'd like to praise God, of course. God bless all of you. I hope you have a great day today. If you like what I provide, please subscribe to my channel. This is every day. We don't take breaks. Uh, and please like the video. I appreciate y'all hitting that like button. Thank you so much. All right. So Psalm 53. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. Every one of them is gone back. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they, as they eat bread? They have not called upon God. There was they in great fear, was no fear was. For God has scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame, because God hath despised them. O oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When God bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Amen. God bless you all today. I do appreciate y'all. Hope y'all have a blessed day today. And all glory does go to God. Amen.